We at Good To Give are huge advocates for gift aid because of the massive benefit it provides to charities and churches. However, we speak to many nonprofit organizations who app have apprehensions and concerns and actually are not taking advantage of this tax benefit. So in this video, we want to allay those concerns and encourage you to take full advantage of gift aid. Now, the first misconception we hear is that claiming gift aid is cheating the government. Now that could not be further from the truth. And the reason is because it is a scheme set up by the government for your benefit. So it, you can't possibly be cheating them by taking advantage of a scheme that they set up. And if you don't take full advantage of this money and utilize it, it will simply go to waste. The second misconception we hear is that if we take this money, the government will interfere with our charity and in our organization. Now, that is not the case because the government expects nothing in return. There's no financial strings to this benefit. It's literally just a pot of money set aside so you can do more good work. There's no reason and no evidence that the government interferes with charities and churches that receive gift aid. There's no string attached. The third misconception is that you can only claim gift aid on large donations. Now you can claim gift aid on large donations, but you can also claim gift aid on small donations. In fact, there is a specific element of the scheme called the gift aid small donation scheme that allows you to claim gift aid on cash donations less than 30 pounds. And you don't need a gift aid declaration to do that. So with the main gift aid scheme, in order to claim, donors have to complete a gift aid declaration form, but with the small donations, they don't. So it's even easier to claim on smaller donations. The fourth misconception is that non-taxpayers can utilize gift aid. This is not the case. In order for you to benefit from gift aid and claim gift aid, the donor has to have paid enough income tax or capital gains tax into the system in order for you to claim gift aid. If they have not paid enough tax into the system, you cannot claim gift aid. The fifth misconception we hear is that gift aid only benefits the charitable organization. In fact, it benefits both the charitable organization and the donor. There are tax benefits on both sides for the organization and for the donor, particularly if the donor is a higher rate taxpayer. So hopefully you have found this helpful and we have encouraged you to take full advantage of this benefit that you are entitled to. Now, if you need help doing that, please do not hesitate to contact. In fact, contact us today via the details below.